What's going on everybody? This is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. I really appreciate your time and in today's video I'm going to show you some of the changes that Unity made in version 2021.1 with the package manager. This is going to give you a new experience. They also make some changes on the labels. So I'm going to show you a little presentation that I created to demonstrate that. Unity 2021.1 new package manager experience. So some of the new changes that Unity is making on the package manager include moving away from a monolithic architecture, we all know that they have been actually trying to move away from embedding everything in the Unity editor, which makes Unity more modular. So that's going to keep happening and they're going to keep making more changes about that. The packages will now be labeled as pre-release and release. You guys remember seeing preview that actually anything that is preview currently, it's going to be moving to an experimental category that you're going to see on the labels. So that's still going to, I mean, that's going to be a big change because we're all used to, you know, seeing some of those packages by enabling an option in the Unity editor. So that is actually going away. You can see here experimental, I can preview packages will now be shown unless manually installed. And I'm going to give you a demo of how to do that. I also included a link here of all the different packages that you can download through this link that are considered experimental, I can preview. So if we go back to the, let's go ahead and go back into the presentation. And the other things in addition to that, pre-release will show or be discoverable if the user select enable pre-release packages under advanced settings. I mean, this is something that I've shown in the channel. It's not as visible as it used to be on previous version of Unity. Now you have to go into a little gear, which I'll show you in the Unity editor in order for you to enable pre-release. And then release is going to be the new label that we see and it used to be verified. Anything that release or pre-release is going to be supported by Unity, so just make sure you are you know, aware of that. Anything that is experimental, based on what I've been reading from Unity, it's not going to be supported by Unity. It could actually be discontinued at any time, so make sure that you're not using those. Unless you're doing prototyping like I do in some of my videos and you want to see how some of those packages are going to help you or could help you in future projects. But just know that some of those might not necessarily be in the Unity roadmap. So, you know, anything here, this, they will be discoverable by default, the same thing as pre-release and also release, but experimental will not be discoverable unless you install it manually. So if we go back to the FAQ, you know, all preview packages will be classified as, as experimental, just, you know, just like I mentioned, they, they really don't, they, they really won't be shown unless you enable it and you can really install it from the from the package manager unless you go to a website which is a website that you show you and then which unity version use which life cycle so if you're using unity 2018 or unity 2020 the life cycle v1 it's basically categorized as preview or verified phases and then if you're using unity 2021 or newer the life cycle version 2 it's going to be categorized as experimental again this won't show or be discoverable through the package manager. These are only the ones that you're gonna be manually installing. Also, any pre-release packages are going to be discoverable as long as you enable a, a setting in the advanced settings in Unity, which I'm gonna show you as well. And then release packages are going to be anything that is verified that you're welcome to use in production because they've been tested by Unity. So a little diagram that I wanted to show you that Unity provided is, this is basically the phases of the packages within Unity. So you're going to see an entry point for new packages. They're going to go into an experimental you know, stage. This is where Unity might be prototyping, a team might be formed, and they are creating an experiment just to see, you know, if it's going to help the, the engine long term. And again, this is not going to be supported. It's not going to be visible in the editor, and you're going to have to install these ones manually. And it's not going to be in the Unity roadmap unless it's going to be either pre-release or the release phases. Once a package goes from an experimental stage, they're going to be moving into a pre-release stage, which then you can enable through the Unity editor. They're going to be visible as long as you enable that feature. They are going to be supported by Unity, and they're also going to be, again, visible in the editor by enabling pre-release packages. And you can learn about it during beta communications, and in the forum, they're going to be talking about it because it's going to be more of an official package. And then release packages are going to be supported, visible in the editor, by default and then you know you're going to hear all about it because unity has been testing them and they're going to be you know included as packages that you're going to be able to use in production so if we go into unity right now you're going to see that i have multiple packages in here and you're seeing again 2021.1 f1 
And you can see that it has a little R and that means that the, these packages are released. But if I were to open all of these ones, you don't see anything that is, that is pre-released. And if you want to do and you want to see that, you got to go into the gear here and go into advanced project settings. And this is a setting that, you know, a lot of people, I saw some forums talking about, can you guys also have the experimental option check so that we can also see experimental packages here. And I agree with them. I don't really want to have to go through another place in order for me to, to enable this feature. I mean, the experimental feature, these are going to be pre-release packages. So these are supported by Unity. So just know that if you enable them, they're still in pre-release stage, so they haven't been made into production. There's still more testing to be done, but they are supported. So something happens and you have a Unity license and you need to support a Unity request, they're going to be support you in those instances. So you can see here, like in for this instance, the visual scripting is currently available in pre-release. They are prefixed with a PRE. And then, you know, once they go to production, they go to the also the actual official release. So these are how those ones are going to show. So if you want to look at some of the experimentals, so let's go ahead and jump in here. And we're going to go into this link and I'm going to be copying this link in the description of this video. So let's say that you wanted to install one of these ones that was experimental. For instance, this packaging here, it's an AR planner, AR planner version 0.2.4 release. And if you go into these links and you go into this one and you're going to be starting to get familiar with the versioning that Unity provides. So you're going to see that this one is 0.2.4 preview that three. And if you look at that one and say that you wanted to install, install that one, we can go in here. They, they're going to be putting these, basically these in the description of the block entry. At least as of now, I don't know how things are going to change. But what you can do in order for you to install it, you can go under packages. And I'm on a Windows machine. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and open the Windows Explorer. If you're a Mac OS, you, go, you can go ahead and open the Finder. And you can see that this file here, it's the, basically this is your packages.json. They call it the, the manifest.json. But, you know, depending on the framework and the tools that you're using, they're going to be called different things. But this is basically all your dependencies. So if you wanted to install these manually, you can just, you know, paste it, make sure that it's formatted correctly. You can close out of these. I already saved the file. And Unity is going to load it. It's going to resolve it. It's going to download and basically clone it uses Git to, to basically copy those informations to a local cache. So it's going to resolve it. Once it's installed, I want, to I want to show you how it's going to look like in the package manager, which to be honest, I haven't even looked at it yet. So this is all me going through this for the first time. All right, guys, so it looks like these installed successfully. And if we go under packages, let me go ahead and just kind of go ahead and make this bigger. You're going to see that AR planner got installed. You can look at the readme, you can look at the package here. It's going to have the preview version in here. If we go to window, we go to package manager. Now we should see the AR planner listed in here. And, you know, anything that was labeled, it's interesting. They haven't really changed their, you know, their term here on the packages. Because this is called preview, but then the Unity editor is showing experimental. And I think it's because, you know, they're using Agile. They're making changes as they, as they get to it. But anything that is experimental that was manually installed, is going to be categorized as an EXP in here and then experimental in here. And you can see in here that experimental packages are new packages or experiments on mature packages in early stages of development. They're not supported by Unity, just like I was saying. And then, you know, we can see different categories in here in this list. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just showed you today, please let me know in the comments. Thank you guys.